Well, welcome back. Caught on camera, not the surprise you would want to see when you walk into your house. A little baby gator wandering around, but that is exactly what happened to a Tampa woman. Take a look. Florida's beautiful. Yes, Florida yes. is beautiful. <laughs> I was cracking up watching this yesterday. Erica Velez called her neighbor for backup when a baby gator snuck into her house. It came through her back sliding glass door. So the two women spent, uh, I don't know how long we're going to find out, trying to coax this baby gator back outside using a Swiffer sweeper to nudge him. And joining us this morning to tell us all about it is Erica Velez, whose house the gator was in, and her friend Cezon Powers, a neighbor who helped her to capture the gator. First of all, great to have both of you ladies with us. Thanks for being here. Thank you. So, Erica, I'm going to start with you since it was your house. When did you notice that the baby gator had gotten inside? Um, I noticed him when I came downstairs. I was upstairs making shirts for my business, Adult Skate 2. And I came downstairs and I was just walking by and I heard my dog growling. And I was like, I froze. And I was like, what is that in my kitchen? Is this like a real, is this real? <laughs> Um, but I, I touched my Nest camera and he was in there for about like an hour and a half before oh I Oh my gosh. Just wandering around the house. So you <laughs> yeah. just, you had left the back sliding glass door open. Is your backyard fenced in? How would the gator have gotten in? Yeah, so I have a dog and I have a fenced in yard and it was nice outside. So I always leave it craft just a little bit. Um, but since I'm on a pond, the back of my fence has slats in it. So he came through the slats. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm cracking up. So, okay, just give us an idea because it's kind of hard to tell in the video. How big is the gator? Um, it, it was, I think it was about two feet. Like, yeah. two from, feet. Okay. from head to tail, it was about two feet, like literally the size of my whole arm. Yeah. So, you could, have, you could have picked it up. <laughs> I mean, like, right? You could, like, looking back now, would you, you could have picked it up, right? Or no? No. <laughs> no. He was mean. <laughs> He was not happy, and I wasn't about to lose my finger. So. Well, I was cracking Agreed. up listening to the video, you talking about him making that hissing noise. At what point did you call Cezanne and ask her to come over and help you? Because then the funny part with, for the viewers who haven't watched the whole video is then you can hear uh, one of you, I think, who, which of you was on the phone with, with wildlife officials? Me. Okay. <laughs> I was. So at what point did you um, call Cezanne and ask right her to away. help? I called her right away because I had no idea what to do, no clue. She thought my husband was home, so she wanted me to send him over. And I'm like, I'm sorry, he's at work, but I'll come over. And I don't know. I thought it was already going to be, like, by the door. I was like, I'll just scoot it out. Like, I brought, like, brooms and stuff with me. And, yeah, it took, like, 30 minutes to finally get him out. Yeah, it was it was uh, tough. So, all right. So, I'm cracking up too because for the viewers who are watching this video, notice that one of you is standing on top of the counter. The kitchen is that the kitchen counter, and then the other one of you is standing yeah. on top of it, a chair or a table. What, what was that? Yeah, we were. <laughs> she was on the. She was on her chair. I was yeah. on the counter. I I heard that like gators jump and stuff. They're quick. They're quick. Like that they use their tails to jump. So I mean I wasn't gonna take any chances. I got I have two kids to take care of. <laughs> right? They could have like you could have broken a pinky or something. Uh, okay, so uh, <laughs> so are you guys shocked at all the attention you've been getting? I just have to ask. We Very. are. Um, I. Honestly, like the only reason why I Facebook streamed it was because I thought my friends and like my real estate clients would get a kick out of it because it's like, <laughs> I'm always telling people move to Florida. And now I'm like all of my friends up in Ohio and Pennsylvania, I, I think, I mean, maybe it wasn't a good idea. <laughs> Well, it is the best video, and I hope you get a call from Swiffer Sweeper. Maybe they would like want to put you girls in a commercial. That would be so awesome, right? Shout out to Swiffer out there, just in case they're listening. Thanks, ladies. That was great video. Fun stuff. <laughs> so Thank cute. you. Bye.